Relatively speaking, today will be cooler than it was over the weekend, but it's still going to be very humid. High temperatures today plotted here on the left side of your screen of readings between 77 and 82 for highs. You will also have the opportunity for some widely scattered showers and thunderstorms moving through. When it's not raining, we'll be looking for partly to mostly cloudy skies. Those storms move out. The main risk for severe weather stays to our south, and then we'll be watching rain coming in from the west. So here's 8 p.m. We're still dry, but after midnight, and towards 4 a.m. Here comes some widespread rain. The greatest coverage of rain and the highest rainfall totals are likely the further south and west you go. Lower rainfall totals the further north and east. This rain will be continuing right on through tomorrow morning. Our lows out the door tomorrow morning, upper, upper 50s to lower 60s. We then go through the day tomorrow. The rain continues through the morning, tapers off during the afternoon, and from north to south, we'll be looking for the clouds to decrease. So the further north you are will likely break into some late day sunshine and that's why you see Ascoda here with a high of 74 while elsewhere further southward including the I-69 corridor including areas like Cairo and Owasso see highs several degrees cooler near 70 degrees because the sun does not come out until very very late in the day if it does manage to come out. Now for today we are going to be looking at a risk for severe thunderstorms however that main risk is two hours south it's a very low risk to pretty Pretty much non-existent risk for most of us right along the I-69 corridor cannot rule out a stronger thunderstorm, perhaps some gusty winds. The main round of rain is going to come through late tonight after midnight carrying through tomorrow morning. Looks like we'll see a swath here of a half inch to one and a half inches of rain with locally higher totals possible. The highest rainfall numbers are going to be the further south and west in the area you are and the lower rainfall totals are going to be the, far, the further north and east that you are and far northeastern parts of the area could see less than one half of an inch of rain. So this is what it looks like here. This is our chance of seeing a half inch to one and a half inches of rain between late tonight and tomorrow morning. It's likely that we see that amount of rain the further south and west you are here in the orange areas such as Gratiot County, Shiawassee County, parts of Saginaw and Genesee counties. And there could even be some locally higher amounts in excess of one and a half inches in some areas. It's possible here in the yellow area that we see that range of rain and then in the green area for further north and east. It's less likely that we'll see that much rain and it is likely that we will see less than half an inch of rain, at least in more areas than not there in the green shaded area. The extended outlook shows a few widely scattered thunderstorms for today. Highs near 80 tomorrow. It's a high near 70 degrees. Morning rain likely it will end as you make our way through the afternoon. Wednesday mostly sunny, 77. A few more clouds on Thursday and then a few more clouds still on Friday. Mainly dry though here to close out the week in the upper 70s. Over the weekend, even though high pressure is moving in trying to keep us dry, an upper level low pressure system in the vicinity could throw a wrench into that forecast and stir up a few isolated rain showers.